Hi there folks, it's Mike here in our C++ tutorial series. And in this lesson, I want to show you where you can get help beyond my video lessons. I mean, my video lessons are good, right? They're the only thing... No, 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 no. You're going to have to go go around sometimes and, and learn how to, well, learn in some sense, this sort of metacognition idea. But you're going to need some other resources beyond what I can teach you in video format. And maybe someday I'll have a book in the link in the description down below that I can link. But until that day, Let's go ahead and look at two resources that I really like for C++. And here they are. On the right, my favorite is the C++ reference. But as a beginner, this might not be your go-to reference, meaning it doesn't have a sort of full tutorial series of the language start to end, at least not as of uh, this recording. But what I do like is C++.com, which does have tutorials and one specifically on the C++ language that you can watch here. And you can sort of read through this and see all the different, you know, starting from the basics all the way down to some of the more intermediate um, ideas here mixed in on C++ here. And I think these are pretty beginner friendly lessons that you can at least start from and start building a foundation for the language. I think the reference is also pretty decent as far as, say, some of the data structures. And I'm just going to click on one that we'll uh, become familiar with, a vector here, for instance, um, in the sense that it has lots of tiny examples. So I can click on some of the different examples here, and you'll see the code. Now, I will say C++ reference actually has those just as much as well. So if I find vector, go ahead and click on it. And if I scroll down here, Let's go ahead and find that same one here, size. You'll also find a nice small example. And in fact, what I like here is you can actually click run this code and it'll give you a little editor online and you can click run and see the actual output and play around with these examples. That's important to play as you're learning the C++ language. So whether it's just tweaking some of these examples and at this point you might say, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to add a number number here. Last time it said four elements, I'll hit run. And this time it says five elements. Okay, so we learned something, we can play around with it here. And again, I like C++ reference because it tends to be updated by folks who are often working on the sort of core language or the standard, or at least whoever is maintaining this is sort of grabbing from that um, and giving you the really, you know, technical uh, details of how this function works which might be a little bit overwhelming if you're sort of a beginner programmer, but maybe if you're coming from another language, this is going to be a little bit more comforting. In fact, this is where I'm going to look most of the time when showing folks, but hopefully that'll get you used to looking at these resources. So with that said, I just want to go ahead and point out those two resources, c++.com and cppreference.com as good resources to look at. In fact, there's one more resource I want to share with you just in case you're still excited about finding resources, but isocpp.org is a really great resource for just figuring out what conferences are going out, what books have been released, other major C++ news. I think this is actually a really good resource, and we're going to talk about some of the things like core guidelines later on that are just sort of best practices where you can learn from C++. So with that said, those are a few good resources to take a look at. And obviously there's ones like the almighty Stack Overflow where you'll find your answer to many questions as well, as well as other tutorial sites that are pretty good and are going to help answer your questions, depending on which level you're at and at which level you're learning the language. So definitely use those. But as always, make sure to use these videos, like and subscribe, and then we'll hopefully we'll see you in the next lessons in this series. So hopefully this has been of some use and we'll see you soon.